Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Marcus Mason. I'd like to welcome you to Project Side Piece. Now this is a project I've been working on for about a year now, um, slowly. But let's introduce you to the two victims here. The first one right there is a 2005 Dodge Magnum. And behind me is a 2006 Dodge Magnum. Now, basically what I'm doing with these projects is that Here's the story, first of all. Okay, first of all, this Magnum here, that one, that Magnum there was in an accident with a deer. You know, I live in the country, so a deer decided to prance his little happy ass out in front of me, and uh, I knocked it out. I knocked it out the park. Yes, it's venison right now. It's, it's probably in somebody's sewer system, but none, nonetheless, the deer is dead, and it did a number on the front of my vehicle. Now, I don't have the front part of it on my car, but this is what's remaining of the front part of my vehicle after the beautiful folks at Farm Bureau totaled me out. Johnny, tell him what he's won. Not a dang thing because it's totaled out. So what I decided to do is buy this vehicle over here, which is a Dodge Magnum 2005. Now. I bought this off of a guy who had it sitting in a field for about 500 bucks. Now, the thing about this Magnum is that it was uh, actually locked up. The person that actually didn't take good care of the thing, you know, because they don't make these cars anymore. From 2005, 2008 are the only years that Dodge made these Magnums. So I would say um, that they're a collector's item. Now, both of these vehicles have the 2.7 engine in it. That is a sucky engine. Uh, in this car right here, the engine uh, actually started overheating on me. And I found out later on I could have replaced it, but I decided not to. Uh, basically, the head gaskets had um, an issue with it and it began leaking. But it didn't get bad enough to where it leaked into the oil. So, basically what happened is I sold it. Somebody wanted to buy that 2.7, I'll let them have it. So, in the process, I ended up taking out the transmission in this Magnum. And in that Magnum, the, the engine was locked up because uh, the person who had the vehicle basically let their cousin or something drive it and they locked up the motor and they put engine coolant in the wrong reservoir. He put engine coolant in the freaking wiper blade. In the wiper um, reservoir. Whoa. Well, his loss, my gain, because I actually ended up getting a, a good vehicle, which I thought. But there's some things wrong with this car. Like the um, brake rotors are scrubbed out. Um, I had to do a lot of corrections to the interior. The interior is clean, actually. Um, there are some issues with the back hatch, which I actually end up sh switching out right here. It was silver now i'm going to end up painting it anyway so it doesn't really matter so um yeah so basically that's pretty much it and this is the introduction of what will be known as project side piece because you know in side piece world you know you got to have one uh waiting on the side to take its other's place so yeah so this is how and why i name this project side piece now i have a couple other projects going on so Please check in, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, I'll have more things to be posted later on. So one of my other two projects is a 1967 Ford F100 that belonged to my father. The first vehicle I learned to drive on is this Ford F100. It's in rough shape, but it holds a um, significance to my heart because it was the first vehicle I, that I started working on and driving. And also, um, it's a short wheelbase. So um, we're gonna walk through that project. Also, I have a, to all my urban Memphis 1990s babies in the Memphis area, um, in the 90s, the Chevrolet Box Chevy, as they nicknamed, but it's really a 1979 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. Um, that's popular now because I think the Dodge um, Charger is taking its place in popularity among the, the uh, gangsters and thugs. But, um, Nonetheless, in the 90s, in his heyday, 
you know this uh, 1979 Caprice Classic was the ish so I'm gonna be introducing you to both of those projects later on and uh, you know we're gonna have some fun and hopefully I will rebuild these I have uh, some great great things to tell you about this uh, 79 Chevrolet Caprice Classic that I like to try to accomplish with it so just stay tuned also please subscribe to my channel and uh, I greatly appreciate it. And I don't know where to look. Should I look here? Do I look there? I guess I look there. Okay. All right. Um, thanks for checking me out. And uh, stay tuned and uh, follow me. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow me on this YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook as well. Um, I'm actually a comedian. You can follow me on my comedian page, which is Comedian Marcus Mason. Thanks so much, guys. And uh, I really appreciate it. And look, never let your moment be longer than a minute. Bye bye now. Wait a minute. Before I go, um, speaking, well, this is going to be on another project. Never mind. Bye bye.